Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita Mane. In today's video, we are going to study the final accounts of cooperative society. In this video, we are going to see the introduction part of cooperative society. So without wasting time, let's start the session. First, we'll try to understand what is cooperation. Now, in simple term, you can say that cooperation is working together for a common purpose. Now, who are working together for a common purpose? Obviously, people are working for common purpose. So, a group of people coming together to work for common goal or purpose. Now, uh, when they are working together, for a common purpose so it is the cooperation among themselves now when this group of people are working together for a common purpose they are forming a society so now what is cooperative societies now cooperative societies are organization formed to provide goods and services to its members at a lowest price now when this group of people are working together for common purpose, they are basically forming a society. So people working in the society are the member of the society. So cooperative societies is what it is the organization formed to provide goods and services to the uh, society members at the lowest price. So basically Cooperative societies are what? It is a voluntary organization formed for the purpose of promoting and protecting the interest of its members. Now, the primary objective of a cooperative society is to render, is to render the services to its members, okay, rather than to earn profit. Now, normally a cooperative society is a service organization. This services is, is provided to the members. Okay. Now they are not formed for earning profit. Okay. So the intention is not to earn profit. It is going to just provide services to its members at lowest price. So the motto or the aim is not to earn profit. Now each cooperative society has to register under the Cooperative Society Act of the concerned state. Now next is what? Each cooperative society has to register under the Cooperative Society Act of the concerned state. Now the accounting procedure and the final account format differs from state to state as each state in India has its own cooperative act. Next, uh, in Maharashtra, the cooperative societies are formed and registered under Maharashtra Cooperative Society Act 1960 and Maharashtra Cooperative Society Rules 1961 formulated. Now, in Maharashtra state, there are credit cooperative society and consumer cooperative society. Next is cooperative accounting. Now cooperative accounting means the books of accounts and records to be maintained by this society. So uh, according to section 79 of the Maharashtra Cooperative Society Act 1960, the register may give direction or may give guidelines to the cooperative society to maintain proper accounts in relation to all sums. First point is all sums of money received. So whatever uh, money is to be received are received in cooperative society and expended by the society and the matter in respect of which receipts and expenditures take place. So these records are to be maintained properly. Next point is all sales and purchases of goods by the society and of the stock in hand and its valuation. Now suppose uh, if, the cop if the society is involved in trading activity, it has to maintain the records of all sales and purchases of goods okay, 
in the proper format. Next point is the assets and liabilities belonging to the society. So these uh, are some uh, the guidelines which the register can give to its cooperative society to maintain the proper accounts. Next is according to rule 65. Okay, according to rule 65 of Maharashtra Cooperative Society rules following books of accounts and register are to be maintained by the society. So this rule 65 gives the specific list of books to be maintained by society. So book first book is cash book. Next is general ledger and personal ledger, stock register, property register and register of audit objection and its rectification. So these books are to be maintained by the society, cooperative society. Next we will move to the preparation of final accounts of credit cooperative society and consumer cooperative society. So, preparation of final accounts means financial statement. In financial statement, we have profit and loss account and balance sheet. Now, uh, when uh, credit cooperative society and consumer cooperative society are preparing the final accounts, so there are some rules which they have to follow. So, rule number 61 of Maharashtra Cooperative Society rule 1961 provides that the society has to prepare the following financial statement within 45 days. This is important within 45 days of the close of accounting year means the credit cooperative society and consumer cooperative society they have to prepare their financial statement okay within 45 days of the close of accounting year. So, which are those financial statement? First is receipts of payment account. Receipts and payment account. Second is the profit and loss account for the year. You can say it as income and expenditure account also. So, first was uh, first is receipts and payment account. Next is the profit and loss account for the year. And last is the balance sheet as at the close of the year. So, receipts and payment account, profit and loss account and balance sheet. This uh, uh, financial statement, the credit cooperative society and consumer cooperative society, they have to main, uh, prepare it. Now, next rule is rule number 62 of Maharashtra Cooperative Society. Rule 1961 provides that the society have to prepare the profit and loss account and balance sheet in the prescribed form. Now see when uh, credit cooperative societies and consumer cooperative societies when they are preparing the financial statement. Now this financial statement means profit and loss account and balance sheet is to be prepared in a prescribed form. This form is called as form N. So the this uh, societies have to prepare uh, the financial statement in a prescribed form that is form N. So we will see the format of profit and loss account and balance sheet. So this is the format of profit and loss account uh, of credit cooperative society and consumer cooperative society. It is in form N. So to the left hand side you will see the debit side and to the right hand side you will see the credit side. So in debit side there is expenditure and in the credit side there are income. Now you will see here to the left hand side previous year. So previous year amount are to be recorded and uh, next to credit, uh, next to uh, expenditure there is current year. So current year amount you have to mention here of uh, expenditure sides and in income side previous year amount and to the next to income side uh, there is current year amount you have to record over here. So in expenditure first is interest then bank charges like under expenditure items there are interest, bank charges, salary and allowances of staff, 
Fourth, uh, next point is contribution to sta uh, staff provident fund, salary and allowances of managing director, attendance fees and traveling expenses of directors and committee members, uh, traveling expenses to staff, rent, rent, rate and taxes, postage, telegram and telephone charges, printing and stationery, audit fees, general expenses, bad debts, return off or provision made for bad debts, then depreciation on fixed assets, uh, land income and expenditure, other uh, interest and last is net profit carried to the pro balance sheet. So total in expenditure side there are total 17 items. So this is the list of 17 items under the head of expenditure. Now we'll move to the uh, income side. Under income side first is interest received. So interest received can be on loans and advances or on adva uh, investment. Then dividend received on shares, commission, miscellaneous income. So under miscellaneous income, there is share transfer fees, rent, or rebate in interest, sale of forms, other, exp other items. And last is land income and expenditures. And last is total. So total of expenditure and total of income side okay so in income there are total five items okay five uh, heads are there and in expenditure there are total 17 heads and in income there are total five heads so this is the format of uh, profit and loss account of credit cooperative society or societies cooperative society next we'll move to the format of balance sheet now this format of balance sheet is also in form N. Now this balance sheet is in a T format. Okay, so to the left hand side uh, there are liabilities and right hand side there are assets. Now, now we will see under liabilities what are the heads. So first is share capital. Okay, first head is share capital. Under share capital you can uh, there is authorized share subscribed share paid up share issued shares okay uh, uh, authorized capital uh, subscribed capital then paid up capital issued capital and less calls in areas second head is reserves fund and other funds so under reserve fund and other funds there are this uh, these are the items like statutory reserve building funds special development funds bad debts uh, bad and doubtful debts reserve and so on third uh, next head is third uh, number three staff provident fund fourth number head is secured loans under secured loans there is debentures loans overdraft and cash credit from banks loan from government other secured loans fifth head is unsecured loans so in unsecured loans there are loan cash credit overdraft from central bank from government and others and bills payable next point is six uh, head is deposit under deposit there is fixed deposit recurring deposit current deposit and so on next under uh, liabilities the next head is current liabilities and provisions so under current liabilities and provision there are sundry creditors other creditors or for purchase for expenses advanced recoveries unexpired subscription premium commission etc number eight is unpaid dividend or you can say it as unclaimed dividend also next is in uh, next point is interest accrued due but not paid Next is other liabilities. Uh, next uh, point number 11 head is profit and loss. So in profit and loss account the profit for the last year less appropriation if any then add profit for the current year and last is congenital liabilities and total. So total in liability sites there are 11 heads and each head are having the sub uh, items okay under share capital there is authorized capital subscribed capital then in reserve funds there are various types of 
funds are there okay so you have to remember all this head and what comes under this head you all uh, the students have to remember those points now we'll move to the asset sides in asset sides there is cash bank balance like under this head cash on hand cash in hand next is investment government securities other trustee securities non trustee securities and so on next uh, head number 3 investment of staff provident fund so in investment of staff provident fund we have investment of staff provident fund advances against staff provident fund fourth point is loan and advances under this head loans overdraft cash credit loan due uh, due by managing committee and so on next is sundry debtors cash credit advances and others comes under the uh, head of sundry debtors six point is current assets in current assets uh, there uh, there are stores and spare parts loose tools stock in trade working progress uh, point number 7 is fixed assets L in fixed assets the items are land and building lease holds plant and machinery the furniture fixture vehicles and so on in he head number 8 miscellaneous expenditure and losses so in miscellaneous expenditures and losses there is goodwill preliminary expenses expenses connected with the issue of shares and debentures including underwriting uh, charges brokerage etc deferred revenue expenditure next is other expenses now the expense uh, sorry other items so the items which were not recorded in above heads uh, so the those items are to be uh, recorded in other items like prepaid expenses interest accrued but not due other items to be specified next is uh, profit and loss so in this profit and loss account so whatever losses are there accumulated losses not return of it should be recorded un under the head uh, profit and loss account but in asset sides and current if there are any current lo losses you have to mention in head number 11 that is under current losses and total okay so you can see that in liabilities as well as in assets there are total 11 heads okay so this is the balance sheet of balance sheet of cooperative society so the uh, the cooperative society have to prepare the profit and loss account and balance sheet in form n okay so i hope you have understood uh, today's lecture thank you please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification